Hey guys, welcome to part two of my intro to 3D printing. Uh, the first one we went kind of over what 3D printing is, how it works, the very basics, uh, and <laughs> how to lay your objects on the, the print bed for 3D printing. Um, in this section we're actually going to go over finding other models to 3D print and uh, modifying a little bit. So, and we'll go into more detail here. But, uh, so, there are basically there's three really big sites. There's, a, there's hundreds of sites that have 3D models for printing. Um, the ones, the most popular ones, one called Thingiverse here. Um, then there's one called GrabCAD. And then there's another called Yeg Yegi, uh, I think. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But uh, Thingiverse is the one I use the most. It's kind of one of the first ones. I've just been using it. I have an account. I share some files. Uh, and so I, I tend to use it. Uh, GrabCat, I've heard is a little better. Like I think they have like a thing that checks the models before they send them in. But who knows? Tinkercad or Thingiverse, not Tinkercad. Thingiverse could have added that in the past. And then Yegi, Yegi is like in a repository from like a lot. Like I think if I click on this one, yeah. See, this takes me to Thingiverse. It's just kind of like a, a Google search of 3D models. So it works, but I just it just feels very cluttered to me. They're all kind of cluttered though, so there's not really a good option. Um, so let, let's talk about uh, Thingiverse. This is going to be the main one I use for this uh, video because it's the main one I use. Um, really cool models on here. Like here's some like handles for like doors and knobs. So if you want to like you know make your own box and lay or laser cut one out and have 3D printed handles, you can do that. Spice holders, um, little light things, and like some of these. Like if you click on this one, I bet we'll have because uh, I can tell. Oh, the, and the, the, the website's a little slow. Um, a lot of times I'll have videos. Yeah, like see, this one has a video. Okay. Para poder seguir con la siguiente letra. Así que igual, movemos todo 10 milímetros y completamos la... I think he's using Google SketchUp. Like, but, uh, anyways. Um, he has, like, a lot of times I'll have a list of the things that you need to buy. So he has a place where you can buy the light strip. 12 foot inch plug and all the stuff. So you buy the stuff, you 3D print your thing, and you make it. And uh, there's a video on how to do it all. So here's, you know, him put it together. Una tolerancia de 0,3 millimeters. And this is, what's his name? Pero Duke finalmente Doc. ya lo tenemos. So lo conecto la luz con este transformador de 12 voltios so, y listo. Pretty cool. You'd also use a 12 volt battery for a lot of things. So uh, let's go back here. Let's just look through some of the stuff. Some cool Star Wars stuff. Um, is that like a little lathe? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Make your own little lathe. Put like a drill powered lathe. Um, oh, yeah, the back button on your screen doesn't work very well with Tinkercad. Try to just use the arrows. Uh, like a cool little uh, threaded lid with jars. So you need like a little container, remote control airplane, another one of those lights. Oh, some hinges. So you've got your handles. Now you can make hinges to open your door. Um, another spice rack. Just a lot of fun stuff. Pokemon. <laughs> There's literally everything. Okay, so let's go through on how to like use this website a little bit. Um, these are popular last seven day, 30 days. Let's get a most popular of all time. Oh, cool. It's a $30 3D scanner. That's pretty cool. A really loud whistle. Um, you know, oh, I, I've printed one of these off it. Like, you turn that, and it opens and closes. It's really cool looking. Um, hey, I did the time lapse video of the Groot in the last video. So, there's a lot of cool things. A little toothpaste holder that you can make. Uh, so, and you can download this stuff. Uh, there's also these right here, so the categories. <laughs> For instance, let's go into RC vehicles. So right here is a lot of drone and car stuff. So you want to 3D print tank stuff, plane stuff, so like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and you'll see some of this stuff. I, I'm using the word stuff a lot. Uh, this tank right here is going to be similar to what I'm going to show you that I did. Um, but once again, you know, th these, you, you just 3D print the body of it, you still have stuff you have to buy. And um, he 
he'll usually usually they'll talk about it. yeah here's the parts list and it's a pretty big parts list so um, okay so let's get into what we're going to do but there's a lot of categories there's a lot of filters um, play with that stuff um, but we're going to go into and let's find something and design to download and modify I'll show you how that works so I'm going to search for a cup Okay, Ooh, that's kind of cool. A little Bulbasaur. Um, some measuring cups, that's kind of cool. Um, cup holders for coffee cups. Uh, and a lot of times, like, so when you, when you do your actual design of things to make, this is going to be a really good one. But I just want to get something that's very simple that we can, like, okay, yeah, like this one right here. This is cool to me. Uh, low poly cup bolting. Okay, so when you get to the page, there's a couple things that you can do. Okay, all of these 3D models have this little thing right here, and you can click on this, and it takes a while, but you can actually look at the model in here. You just drag it around, kind of like you do in Thingiverse. Okay, and exit. I don't know what that one is, it's just full screen. Okay, so, uh, and they have a picture, and uh, he's just telling me how he's made the bowl. <laughs> uh, so, and then. A lot of times you can go to the comment section and people will comment like, does this work? I don't know why it says four comments. And then you'll also see makes. These are when people have made it themselves. They've taken the design 3D printed it. So you can see, okay, it works. People have done this because some of these designs don't work. Uh, remixes are when people like change things, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to go here to thing files and right here, some 3D uh, printed objects like Let's open up a new tab. You know, something like, you know, I don't even know what that is. Let's find something different. Like, okay, well, this thing. This has a lot of files. If you go to Thing Files, it's got like 10 files you have to download because you have to print them all out. Okay. Um, and with this one, it's only one, so it's nice and easy. So we're going to download it. Remember where we save it. Yes, I've already done this. It's my second time making this video. I messed up the first try. Hey. <laughs> and uh, we are going to go into create design. Okay. So once we're in here, the first thing that we do, remember, is we're going to change our bed to whatever the 3D printer that we're using. But for us, it's a little 5x5x5 five by five by five print bed. So, I don't know. Sometimes it's 5 5 update. There we go. Okay. So, export is how you get your 3D file. Import has you is how you import new ones. So, we're going to import and it says STL OBJ or SVG files, those are the three file takes, file types it takes. And it can even import from a URL if you have the URL, but we're not going to get into that. Right here, open, import. Now, sometimes the scaling on these is weird. So, like, that scaled way super small. Okay, I don't want it that small. So, I'm going to hold shift, click this up, and I'm going to scale it way big. All right. And how much room do I have? I'm going to make, let's make a little cup out of this actually. So we're going to take a cylinder down in here. We are going to shrink this guy down. Shift. Shrink it down again. Bring it, throw it in there. Another one of these guys. We're going to shrink it down to the size I want. I'm holding shift when I do this so it holds its shape. I think that looks good. We're going to take that up to there. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Now it's all off balance, but we can use the align tool here to center it up. Okay, so cool. We got a cool little cup. Let's make sure we can only print five inches tall. And this is a four inch tall object. So this should work. Okay. So uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and group this. All right. So now I want to add my name on the cup. All right. Okay, so there is a text right here. But if you click on this one, oh, actually, most important thing, let's exit out of that, is working with our work plane. Work plane is like where it's going to default drop. So it's, it's going to save you having to try to get the right angle yourself. So if you just click right there, boom. Now if I take this text, it automatically is in the direction that I, I, I want it to be. So if I like hold shift, move this down, scale it down, scale it down, scale it down, scale it down. So you can see like this just doesn't have a lot of options. Like it has that option, that one. I just don't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this one. And I'm gonna go to a lot of the best shapes are found in the shape generators under all. It's just kind of annoying to navigate because there's no search function in this website. But okay. So there's this this one, which I like a lot. It's like a cursive um, type writing. You can see it's under my favorites. And I like this one as well. I just I never used it before. So let's see, we're gonna shift, scale it down to about the size we want, somewhere in there. Okay. So I'm gonna put my name, John White. Okay. Scale this down to fit my design. Okay, so I notice how I can't move that in the middle. Like when I try to move it, it just like goes way too far. And that's just because my snap is off. So once again I gotta go down here and I can either turn it off altogether or I'll put it on 1 64th of an inch. I mean, it stops every 1 64th of an inch. And I'm just going to line it up right there. I can kind of see that's lined up at the, the edges of that triangle. And then I want something else on this. So I'm going to go through and feel like it's empty up here. And I like making and building things. It's kind of like what this class is about. It's really more about manufacturing than it is engineering with that is so a little smaller okay, I'm gonna grab this one okay I'm gonna take these two I'm gonna align them in the middle right there and then I'm gonna And there's two, there's like perspective right here, and then there's also isometric, and I kind of like isometric because I can get a better look at the what the shape's doing. Okay, so there we go. Let's make sure it's not popping out the other end. Okay, looks good, looks good. And, you know, like, let's say we wanted to put like a little battery in there and an LED that came out, even though this is a cup. I mean, it's kind of, you wouldn't want to... You know, you probably want your battery down. I'd make a battery holder down here and run my wires through the middle of the uh, around or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a plant holder, but uh, to do that, you're going to go back to shapes, basic shapes. I'm going to change my work plane to here this time. And this will be a small intro into what we're going to talk about next time, but uh, I'm going to add what would be an LED. So let's let's pull up the, I want to add an LED in there, right? So uh, I'm just going to Google LED dimensions in inches because I know generally it's going to be in millimeters. So, but and you can use either. So right here, uh, the part that, the, the inner diameter of the LED, so it's got like, the LED's got like a little the base comes out a little bit so it stops um, but it looks like right here it's 0.197 okay and sometimes you want like whenever you're 3d printing something this 0.197 I would just do 0.2 because sometimes like 3d printing just you, you want a little extra space it's, it's the tolerances are not 
Oh, was that the right dimensions? 0.197. That looks a little... Because I guess this is actually really tiny. So I might need to increase the size of this. Shift. Just to make sure. Take my name, I drag it down a little bit. Okay, so this is roughly the size. Oh, whoops. Control V. Undo any time to make a mistake. So I'm going to go there, take this in, and then I'm going to select the plane. Go back to here. You don't have to do that part, it's just easier to see. And I'm going to. Oh, what? That's duplicate. I don't want to do that. I want to group it all. Okay, so there's my design. So you could put like a little LED would fit through. This is this is actually smaller than it looks. So like, honestly, this is like a teacup. It's not even. I mean, it's like this by this. Yeah, it's like three inches. So it, it's it's like a little. It's smaller than this cup. It'd be like. Well, I don't know. It's not a big cup. I would, you know, if I was actually doing this, I probably should have scaled this up a little bigger. So my, I know five is my max length, so I'd probably go down to like just a little bit below it, and I could 3D print that. But now, since I scaled it, this the the whole diameter's off, so I'd have to go to ungroup if I did that. And I guess I will go ahead and do it. Why not? And change this to. You can see how that size changed because I scaled it. 0.2. Oh, that's not the. Huh? What's going on here? Oh, it's because my. Oh, I can't do it this way. I'm not going to mess with it because, in order to do this, I have to change. Basically, I have to change the work plane back. But you can see. You have to be careful anytime you scale objects that you've already like measured out something. So uh, we'll talk more about that later. All right, so your assignment is just get something and modify. I really recommend uh, starting out simple and basic. We will do another modifying assignment after this. So uh, just go out there, find something, and throw your name on it. May add a hole to it, make it a keychain. Combine two things. Let me, let me show you some things that I've done in the past to give you an idea. So I'm going to go in here to Tinkercad. All right. And real quick, uh, so like one of the things I've got here is like I've used two different designs. I used somebody's design of a VEX COG. So VEX is a brand of robotics equipment. And they have this nice little plastic chain right here. And the cog is what the chain fits in, okay? And so one of these cogs, this one, actually drives, pushes the chain, and the other one just spins. And I also combined a 3D model of a bearing. So a bearing is something that helps spin, like people use it in skateboards or rollerblades. It's usually metal, but I didn't, I didn't want to waste a regular bearing. I wanted to 3D print one, so I 3D printed this. It takes little airsoft pellets that go in here and it spins really smoothly. So here's my little tank I designed. Okay, so you can see it here. Um, there's where the chain goes around. All right. It's an FPV remote control, so I can see out this camera while I'm driving it around. It's got some uh, receiver that receives a signal, uh, some two ESCs which control the motors, the two geared motors, which, and then um, a video transmitter. And it's a pretty simple little device. Uh, so this is the drive motor. You can kind of hear it. And then this is the idle motor, and you want that to spin without little friction, right? And you just see how smoothly that spins it. Now, is it smooth as like a nice metal bearing? No, but for like a cool little 3D printed one, and you can see those uh, little airsoft pellets in there, those little white things. Okay, and so it, it took time. Like I had to measure out how these motors have a mount in them, and. Uh, here, let me show you, like, so this, you know, here's a different version of the same design right here. And it's take some trial and error. You'll see down here, I've got three versions of this thing. Uh, V1, V2, uh, this one had a, I put a curve in it for some reason. 
Oh, I, I tried to make, I, I made a bigger top. And then this one, I, I changed up what I was doing. And so this is the final version. You can see this is where the bearing fits over. This is where the uh, hooks into the motors and holds them into place. This is where the drive wheel comes out, the camera. So kind of cool, really cool. So a lot of cool things that you can do with this. I'm going to put this, you can see that this cog, but I just modified two people's design. That was my idea. And if I wanted to upload and share this, it would go into like the remix section. Uh, and I, I will, I, I like to share my design, so once I fin finalize this build, because it's not just about having the model, because the model works right now, it's also about having all of the equipment in it, and when I was doing this, I accidentally burnt up one of my ESCs, uh, the, the thing that controls the motor speed, and so I had to order a new one, and I didn't want to upload my file, so I have a working product. It was working for a little bit, <laughs> and then I kind of messed it up, so. All right. Uh, yeah, and let's see, you know, let's see if there's any other designs I've modified in here. Um, no, those are... There's some, Lego, like, Lego castles that I, like, I took some of those Lego bricks and made, like, castle pieces with them. And it's pretty cool, because my daughter, she's, like, almost four years old, so she, she's not, like, the best at building Legos yet, but having these big wall pieces really helps her make big structures without having to spend too much time so you can take some Lego files and modify them. I don't know why this is looking so funky right now but that's not what it looks like. I don't want to go into it. Um, but just a lot of cool stuff you know so uh, a lot of fun ways to modify a design. So yeah just go out there find a, find a cup or a bowl or a box or something and throw your name on it add a hole in it do some kind of modification to it and uh, you're good. So yeah here's mine right there. Pretty cool right? Alright, good luck.